Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add and remove gadgets from your Windows Vista sidebar. Here's my sidebar. Uh, it's got a few neat gadgets in it, and I also have the battery indicator over here. What I'm going to show you today is how, obviously, in HD to add and remove gadgets. So first, you'll notice at the top there is a uh, small little plus button. You hit that plus button, and there's a number of gadgets already built in to the Windows Vista sidebar that come with it, such as stocks and feed headlines that I haven't actually put in my sidebar yet. And these you can drag in easily simply by clicking, holding them, and dragging them to any place in the sidebar, letting go, and they're instantly in there. I had this one before, so there's already a few contacts. I can exit this one out. But you've always wondered, well, I've seen people with these cool these things, or maybe a wider one, or a CPU usage, RAM usage monitor wondering how to get one of those so, so you simply hit the button hit get more gadgets online this will open your default web browser mine happens to be safari right now and it'll visit the windows website where you can search for more gadgets so uh, there's top rated gadgets there are top down gadgets i'm going to show you an example of how to insert a gadget so say you want to get the vista calculator over here in the bottom of your sidebar or say right between the Google one and the stock gadget. What you do, first I will click on it, and it'll open up its web page. It'll tell you all about it usually, and you have to make sure it's free unless you want to actually buy it. So you hit the download button. This will take you straight to the download page and begin your download. So give it a second, and it'll say read carefully. Um, only install applications from developers you trust. I'm going to hit my install button here and open. And up here, it's done downloading. It's a tiny file. I'm going to open it up and install. So, you can see it's already there. Now I'm going to exit out of my web browser and everything since this is no longer necessary. And you also notice it says page one of two. You don't see the Vista calculator here in here. Actually you do, it's right there. But once you get a certain amount of gadgets, you can actually move to your second page and view your second page of gadgets, which is just my XM radio. So I'm going to exit out of this. So here's the new gadget. That's it's as simple as that. You can grab this little grid thing here and remove it and maybe insert it somewhere else where I where you wanted it before. And there we go. So that is how you get the Windows Vista's gadgets um, from Microsoft itself into your sidebar. Um, if I want to delete it or maybe change options, the wrench always means options. So if I were to exit this out and go in here and hit the wrench, since this is the weather gadget, I can change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, I can enter my location, etc. That's what the wrench always means, and I'll try to zoom in on the wrench for you. So here is the wrench right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's all the way on the edge, but that's the wrench always means settings. So, and removing one, like I said, is as easy as exiting out. And if you go into the plus again, that brings it up. Right-click one and hit uninstall to remove it completely from your computer. And that's as easy as it is. And I think it'll, there it is. It's gone. PGA Tour one is gone. And I only have one page because the XM radio is back on the first page. So that is how you install and uninstall gadgets from your sidebar, should you be using one, in Windows Vista. So um, there's a lot of cool gadgets here. So if I was to search blah and just hit enter, it'll open up a web browser, Google search blah, and bam, I'm already searching it. So there's a lot of useful gadgets that I would recommend if you have a powerful enough computer and if you have enough random access memory to actually do this kind of stuff. Um, if you do, then good luck, and I uh, hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any other um, tutorials that you'd like me to do, uh, just hit that subscribe button and go ahead and write up a comment, and I will try my best to do it. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.